Okay, now we're gonna get started with the hunter cards. The uh, the first card that we're coming up with is a uh, cat trick. It's a new hunter secret. It's a cat in the hat. How cute. cute that being card. said, uh, after your opponent casts a spell, you get a jungle panther, 4-2 panther with mm -hmm. stealth. Um, I like it. I like the idea of it, but I think it's, uh, it's pretty bad. It, it's just not good. It, it's too conditional upon your opponent uh, fulfilling a requirement that mm -hmm. doesn't happen all the time, it's, especially against aggressive decks. Uh, this secret basically just kind of spans a card from your hand, does nothing, lays around, and your opponent's going to probably guess that it's this if uh, it's not a freezing trap or like an explosive trap, and they just kind of not play into it ever until it doesn't matter anymore. Yeah, I have to agree with you. Um, all it really does, like, uh, in terms of impacting the current metagame is increase the uh, secret diversity and the spell diversity, the sp uh, secret and spell pool for lock and load. And this will allow you to have more, uh, have better miracle turns with the uh, Cloak Tundras uh, Lock and Load, which a lot of prominent uh, ladder players have already been experimenting with, where you can play uh, Cloak Tundras lo uh, Lock and Load, and then uh, cast all the secrets that you get, mm -hmm. uh, both in your hand and off Lock and Load. And this will allow you to hit that five secret limit more often. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and but that's it, all I. It's such a niche scenario, as, thing, though. Uh, and all I and. The, all I see uh, for this card is, in, in terms of, like, like I said, impacting the metagame, is that uh, this card is just not worth the individual card slot, and all it's going to do is give you more possibilities off of lock and load. Yeah. yeah. Well, what I think about this card is, like, it covers all the things that you can actually play around. Like, let's say, I maybe I think this is a freezing trap, right? But I suddenly use a spell, and then yeah. suddenly it triggers this. It's similar to how Dark Trap works, right? And nobody <laughs> actually uses that card. But I guess, like, something like the, clo the Cloakless... Like, what is it called again? Cloakless... Cloak Tundras. Yeah, Cloak Tundras. Yeah, maybe it would make this card a little bit more fun. Cloakless. <laughs> <Tundras. laughs> would that be nice? Yeah, maybe it will make it work, but maybe it won't. But, yeah, there's definitely going to be a lot of secrets being played in Hunters in the um, future meta. Yeah. Perhaps. Yeah. I'm going to call it now. I think it's all a gimmick. <laughs> <laughs> all right so now on to the cloaked hunters as we were just discussing earlier so when i first saw this card i actually thought it was like like effing crazy because it like Dr. making Three making there. spells yeah exactly making spells cost zero is a huge deal in hearthstone yeah. so it allows you to pull off some ridiculous turns especially if that spell involves card draw and with lock and load it's pseudo card draw so you can actually get secrets off of lock and load as we were talking about earlier and uh this will base this basically becomes a mysterious challenger, like except even crazier, and you don't have to put these crappy cards in your deck, uh, because you can just keep cycling the secrets off of lock and load. So even though like that whole idea actually sounds pretty crazy, having a, a three drop, a three mana, three four with casting five secrets on turn on turn five, uh, people have already pra like tried this, and in practice, it doesn't seem to work that well. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, initially, okay, I have the opposite uh, view from you. When I saw this card at first, I didn't think it was that great. 3 mana 3-4 is fantastic, but being a hunter card and not being a beast, it's uh, those are downsides to it. Plus, the secrets costing zero, we already had a card like that from the very beginning uh, called Kirin Tor Mage, mm -hmm. which, uh, you know, mage secrets are generally a lot stronger. That being said, they are clunky as all hell, so you would never kind of... Uh, play secrets in a uh, in a, even a tempo mage without some way to cheat it out through the card called uh what was it called mad scientist yeah so with cloaked hunters it doesn't even uh compare to mysterious challenger because it's conditional upon you having secrets in your hand mm -hmm. so it has to synergize with cards that are in your hand for it to work it doesn't thin your deck out like mysterious challenger did and in a deck archetype like like hunter doesn't need to uh, do all these things it's more about going face no but the difference is <laughs> with spell yeah. with, with, with spell hunter you don't need this to be beast and having a three four uh, stat line is actually better than but, a four three six yeah but is the that whole a... goal is to just delay until you get yog so so this yeah. is specifically a yog control yeah it would be a yog hunter. Hunter. So and we've already it doesn't belong in the standard mid range hunter. no no it doesn't uh, not at all no. but I, I we've already seen it in practice and the only promising builds, I think, are actually not the Yogg builds. It's the um, Secret Keeper builds, where you're just... It's not very consistent, but when it goes off, it's pretty crazy, because you can basically mm. just play a one-mana Yeti with the with the uh, Secret Keeper. So you're saying it's inconsistent. It's good yeah, I think when it's it works, but in gen generally, it's just kind of... It's a pretty polarizing card. When it works, it's absolutely ridiculous, and your opponent can't do anything. But I'd say uh, for the majority of the time, you won't be able to get off those crazy combos. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Ooh. 
Do you want to introduce, introduce the next card? So, so the next card is the two mana one one, the kindly grandmother, which I believe is summons a three two big bad wolf as a death rattle. So, in, in my opinion, this is like the next haunted creeper. This is this yeah, is pretty good. Yeah, this is what we've been waiting for. Upon uh, yeah. what I've not first glance, <laughs> upon first glance, I thought this card is really strong. This is this is yeah. what hunter needed. Yeah, this is what this they is going to bring hunter back. Yeah, another two drop that uh, is annoying as death rattles. Um, it's. Personally, I believe it's not as good as Haunted Creeper, uh, because of its uh, base stat line as it is to begin with. Mm -hmm. A one-two is just so uh, difficult to deal with. Yeah, it makes a huge difference uh, compared to yeah. one-one. So if they wanted to clear the spiders afterwards, dealing the uh, killing the Haunted Creeper first was troublesome. But with this one, you can kind of just ping it off with like most uh, hero powers and then deal with the three-two whenever you wished. Not only that, the um, the three-two you have to, if you want to uh, activate it. You're gonna have to make the trade, but you're gonna lose initiative on it. That being said, it is a beast, and the uh, the big bad wolf is a beast. And in the current meta, this is pretty good. Mm -hmm. Great two drop, slam it down. It does its thing. It trades up, becomes a three two, four three stats, two mana. Wow. Yeah, I I, I have to agree with you guys. It's a pretty good card. Um, it it is it does have a different dynamic from Haunted Creeper in the sense that. Okay, like Haunted Creeper is actually like people don't want to commit resources to killing it. Yeah. Because and 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 like both uh, forms of Haunted Creeper and both uh, the, the 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 one one spiders, um, the one one spiders like they're they're basically both pretty low impact. But for board control decks, it gives you a lot uh, to work with, like yeah. Abusive Sergeant oh. and uh, Houndmaster for the first uh, part of Haunted Creeper. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. With this card, they're not really incentivized to kill it. Like like mm -hmm. they don't wanna they don't wanna ping and give you a three two and then you Houndmaster that or you or you hit because it doesn't get rid of the beast egg. The the reason why people killed Haunted Creeper in the past, like just the first form, even though they gave you more stats and gave you more power on board, is because they don't want to give you the beast energy specifically yeah, Hunter. This 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 they're not incentivized to kill it. Yeah. And and not not yeah. like this is not even bearing in mind that the the three two is bigger than the one one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Before the one one the two one ones is pretty comparable to the yeah. one two, and they yeah. just want to get rid of the beast energy. This is you're giving them a much larger minion. And what's great about this card is that it already has one attack, so you don't have to activate it. It can yeah. already attack That's right. into it. it. It can already attack itself and activate the three two itself. Mm -hmm. So I'd say this is a pretty good card. I wouldn't say it's crazy, but it gives Hunter more two job options other than Flame Juggler, Huge Toad, and King Zalik, which they've pretty much been pigeonholed into since uh, the this was Whispers of the Old Gods expansion. I'd say it's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. damn good. It even incentivizes Huku Ranban back into the deck. Yeah. So you have more targets to hit with it. It's I don't a, think Hooran it's a strong yeah, five drop, six yeah. five. I, I don't <laughs> think you play Hooran just for this two drop. No, I think, yeah, I don't, no, no, not no, not just for this two drop. Yeah. It just increases the pool of cards that you can hit with mm -hmm. Hooran. Hooran, therefore general, making it. I actually viable. thought that card would be played quite a bit just because yeah, the stat line it was just so good. But right, but it, it didn't make fall. too much of an impact itself. Yeah. But now, now it, it has enough uh, mm -hmm. synergy for it to actually see play again. I think it's going to see play as well as well as this card a lot. With generally with Huron, you want to see uh, death rattles that actually create minions. You don't want to kind of like, like Raptor, huh? You don't want to see like huge toad. Yeah. You don't want to see. Uh, yeah, you don't want huge toad, fiery bad. You don't want to see that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's kind of it's irrelevant. The, the, the deck looks like it has a lot of death rattles, but if you look at yeah. uh, huge toad and fiery bad, they're not actually death rattles. If you yeah. think about it. But, but I guess the Monus is the only yeah. exception, yeah. just because it's steel minions. But yeah. 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 That's pretty much it, though. So the verdict is pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty. Pretty good to crazy. Pretty good. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah.